Over the last seven years, we've made ambitious investments in clean energy and ambitious reductions in our carbon emissions. We've multiplied wind power threefold, solar power more than 20-fold, helping create parts of America where these clean power sources are finally cheaper than dirtier conventional power. Now, you'd think, given this extraordinary site, given the fact that this is creating jobs, generating power, helping to keep our environment clean, making us more competitive globally, you'd think that everybody would be supportive of solar power. That's what you'd think. And yet, if some politicians had their way, there won't be any more public investment in solar energy. There won't be as many new jobs and new businesses. Some of these folks uh, want to dismiss the promise of solar power and wind power and fuel-efficient cars. In fact, they make jokes about it. One member of Congress who shall remain unnamed called these jobs phony. Called them phony jobs. I mean, think about that, that mindset, that attitude that says because something is new, it must not be real. You know, if these guys were around when Columbus set sail, they'd be charter members of the Flat Earth Society. It's, they, we were just talking about this, that a lack of imagination, a belief that you can't do something in a new way, that's not how we operate here in America. That's not who we are. That's not what we're about. These politicians need to come to Boulder City and see what I'm seeing. I happen to be, I know not everybody agrees with me, but I happen to be, as a member of the Environmental Committee, one of those who believes what the scientists are telling us. And what 97% of the peer-reviewed articles in scientific journals tell us is that climate change is real, it is caused by human activity, it is already causing devastating problems. So I have to say that before we talk about oil production, I think the necessity that we face is transforming our energy system away from oil and fossil fuel to energy efficiency and to sustainable energy. So I am not a great fan. I'm opposed to the Keystone Pipeline. I am not a great fan of more and more oil production. I think we have to transform our energy system. And by the way, congratulations to the people of the state of Iowa. My understanding is that some 30% of your electric electricity is now coming from wind and it's gonna go up. You are, you are being a model for America, congratulations. Well, but I think bottom line here is that in terms of um, energy, I think we are facing a moral imperative, and that is the need to move away from fossil fuel and move to energy efficiency, where my state is doing a pretty good job, and to sustainable energy like wind, solar, geothermal, and biomass. I think that's an imperative that we have got to address. You said you had to look.